finished front end instead of having many front ends and all are unusable. Um, Smaxi is based on the client server model. This makes it very special compared to other IC clients. Um, you could say or compare it to the uh, IRSSC plus screen plus uh, SSH combination but like I said before, it's GNOME based or GNOME focused, not text like IC is. Um, and at its core, Maxi is basically a messaging framework. It doesn't care about protocols, it doesn't care about views, um, it's about messaging. Um, the engine behind Smux is um, rich, that means all the message processing, all the protocol handling, whatever is happening on the engine side and the front end that connects to that engine and display the data from the engine is lean, that means in the front ends are not many features are permitted, only the features that are needed for the presentation, for the view of the engine features. And as I uh, already said, it's um, protocol neutral because it's a messaging framework basically. That means it can handle any protocols that are message oriented, message based. Right now, I implemented uh, IRC support and also you notice know, the asterisk Twitter that fin I finished the Twitter support some weeks ago and it was more kind of fun project uh, I had the idea why the web front end of Twitter is not that nice can't I use Twitter from Smuxy directly and in two days I had the Twitter support and that was kind of proof of concept that the messaging framework, the protocol neutral part is really working because I could adopt it very quickly to a completely different protocol. This leads up to why start this Maxi project, for what reason, I mean we have so many ISC clients out there. Um, I can't list them all, they are just too much. Every programmer 
on this planet has probably written already an IRC client, everyone. <laughs> but that doesn't mean they are good. So I wrote Smaxi. I tried different IRC clients, um, say five to ten or something. Well, basically, all I tried all uh, clients I could find on APT, but or with APT, and I couldn't uh, really get uh, used to any of those. Uh, so I sticked with um, IRSSI and uh, yeah, used it for a while, a few years. But but then I thought, well, some things are not the way I would like. Uh, yeah, I, I I prefer to have it so. Um, I went with Smaxi. Um, for, for example, uh, you uh, have to use Perl or C or other languages I don't like uh, for extending uh, IRSSI. Um, I prefer C Sharp, for example, as, as programming language. That was also the reason why I decided to write Smaxi. At that time, there was no other IRC client written in C Sharp. Uh, also, um, most clients, yeah, they are written by programmers like every program, but somehow, when it comes to IRC, programmers believe that software should be complicated and difficult to use. I don't know why, but that's my uh, impression when I see a regular IRC client. So, and uh, yeah, like I said, um, IRSSI plus screen, great solution, but no GUI, that's uh, which I didn't like. Um, so, um, it didn't, didn't integrate at all into my desktop experience, which is GNO. And yeah, well, <laughs> of course, hacking is fun, so uh, I wrote Smaxi. Some um, special features or goals of the Smaxi client are the following. First, it's cross-platform. That's not by accident. That was a goal. I want an IRC client that uh, runs on different platforms. So users are not limited to pick uh, uh, one platform. They can choose the platform they prefer or even switch between platforms. Say at work you have to use a different operating system than at home or whatever. Um, also, the major uh, feature of Smart is uh, that architecture that um, the engine component can run on a different computer than the front end. And the front end then can connect to that running engine uh, inside the Smart server over the network. But this doesn't mean, I said, simple clients. Uh, Smaxi can be used as a regular standalone client. You can also start Smaxi and it connects you to IRC and you are done just using it. You are an IRC, that simple. So uh, it doesn't have to be the client server model, but it can be. Yeah, and uh, Smaxi is a, a, a multi protocol with Twitter finally. Um, from the beginning, uh, Smaxi wasn't IRC centric, but IRC was the most important protocol I needed for my daily communication with other hackers on my projects and also at work. And yeah, lately I added Twitter support because I'm also using that uh, instead of uh, usual blogging. Um, Smaxi has a configurable interface, that means you can set up where the topic is, where the, uh, the tabs go, where the user list is, or you don't know, don't want the user list, and all that. And also, a very nice feature which I like is not seen in any other client: is the unique nick colors. That <coughs> means um, Smax is uh, picking a nick color uh, based on a hash from the nickname. Means um, you get a color, say pink, for direct hex, and uh, regardless where he is in, regardless of which channel, or even which protocol, he's called direct hex, so he's pink. <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes it easier to recognize people by color, at least for me, than by cryptical uh, nicknames. So, yeah, that's a nice feature I like, at least. So, uh, what's for this Maxi? 
um, the development is very active lately. Different um, new developers joined the project. Um, one of them is working on um, Identica support because right now really uh, Twitter is working, not Identica. Um, I read Identica has a Twitter compatible API, but it's not um, supported yet. We still tend to get that. Um, also planned is a, a persistent mo a message buffers. That means, say, you have to close or kill your Smuxy server. It means currently you lose your old messages. But that's uh, a usual problem with IRC clients. There's no persistence or anything. So what Smux is going to do next is it will store those messages in a lightweight database, say SQLite. And if you restart the Smuxy server, the old messages will be reloaded into the buffers and you're not losing any messages. And you can um, um, go back in the history of all discussions and everything. There's also um, sidebase integration planned. Um, I'm in contact with one of the developers um, for sidebase integration. Uh, I don't know if you know sidegeist. That's an activity uh, tracker, basically, and Smuxy will send in the future events uh, <coughs> um, to Sidegeist, um, so it tracks activity on it. And what's also planned is a plugin framework using more add-ins. Um, currently, Smuxy has no standardized plugin system. It uses a handcrafted, self-written plugin system for the um, multi-protocol support, but it's, it has no public app yet, which plugins officially can use, so it could break um, with every release currently. Yeah, uh, <coughs> in uh, Open 8, I'm planning also uh, to add a login frame, uh, login framework. Um, that's an important feature that's currently missing on Smart <coughs> It means it doesn't write any log files. So if you want um, to track or reread uh, re -read all discussions, currently there are no logs for that. I know every client does that. Smart's not yet, but there, up to today, uh, up to today, there was no real demand for such features, so I'm, I don't know how much people are really re uh, needing it. Anyhow, I will implement it because there is the need, I can <coughs> see it. And one version after that, I plan to add Java support, also known as XMPP, uh, the protocol. Um, at that point, Smuxy will become true uh, multi-protocol, which uh, yeah, it is currently also much to call, but I mean Twitter is not that uh, feature rich, <coughs> so that was quite simple compared to that. <coughs> so, after all this talking, I will try to get Smarty running. I have to rely on the Wi-Fi and on the laptop, which is not mine, so I can't uh, make any promises. I will just try. Let's see. So Smux is now uh, connecting to the Smux server. Oh, okay. Something wrong? Yeah. Okay, like I said. So what I just did, I, I think you haven't seen it. Uh, I started Smux and it asked where, where I want to co uh, connect to. And uh, I connected to the Smux server. I start in advance, which is running on the server, um, the private server, which I have on the internet. Um, as you can see, there are all messages. These are uh, old messages. You can see the timestamp. It says 12.57. Uh, um, okay, for example, channel. Uh, Oh, let's go to the fossil channel. I don't know if someone of you have ISC running and are on the fossil channel. Maybe you could write something. 
some, someone on ISC right now? Again? You or Yeah, it's, they, there we go. <laughs> that worked. So it's a live server running, it's not just a fake or something. Um, this is a live ISC session, and you can also see the Twitter support, and I will also make a quick, quick tweet. It's as simple as writing ISC message. Am I in it? I have to try. I'm not sure where the focus is. Yeah. Okay. And now to send that to the uh, uh, Twitter server. And if you're uh, on Twitter, you should see that message on my uh, Twitter page. And yeah, it's now. Send to Twitter. Uh, oh, where's me? Oh, how much time? Not, uh, not much, right? Yeah, we are already out of time. So yeah, okay, okay, okay. All right. So. Three, five minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, any questions <coughs> about this Maxi IRC client? What Java library are you going to use for the implementation? Again? Java library. Which Java library? Yeah. I haven't decided yet. I tried different libraries. There's a proof of concept implementation of the Java support already. Um, also for the OSCAR protocol, say I have ICQ and AIM, but there are, there's no high pro priority on those. Um, for the Java one, I tried two or three, and I haven't decided yet. I'm still open uh, which Java uh, library I will actually use. Any other questions? <coughs>